Put some weight on the toes. Look to your right. More weight on the toes. More, more. All right, guys, we're here today at Liberty Mountain Resort in Southern Pennsylvania. And today I am giving my wife a beginner lesson. Um, we basically are starting from scratch and we're gonna see if we can get her making some turns by the end of the day. Think you're ready, babe? I think I'm ready. I'm pretty excited to go. I think if I just channel my inner Gal Gadot, I'll be okay. That's what I keep telling myself. She's channeling mm -hmm. her inner Gal Gadot, AKA Wonder Woman today. Mm -hmm and that's all she needs. <laughs> and I made it off the lift without falling, so I feel pretty confident right now. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. We just rode up the lift, she got off with no problem, did a nice toe side turn to stop, and uh, she's feeling pretty confident. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. So we'll see. So anytime we're strapping in our second foot, you wanna make sure you're ready to go down the hill, okay? Because mm -hmm. if you strap in your other foot, the board might start to slide down the hill whether you're ready or not. You wanna point the board, Cross the hill. So this way is downhill. Yep. And then go ahead and strap in as long as you feel like you're on level ground. And even if it's level ground here and you need to sit down or feel like you want to sit down, go ahead and sit down. Very good. Making sure the bindings are in good and tight. You want the bindings to be as tight as possible while they're still comfortable. Now at the bottom of the hill we practice a couple of J-shaped turns toe side and heel side with just one foot strapped in. Now we're going to try the same thing but with both feet strapped in. So in order to get going down the hill, what do you think would be the first thing you need to do? Yeah, you want to shift weight onto that front foot. <laughs> try to get the board pointed downhill by shifting your weight onto that front part of the board. And if you need to, you can kind of give a tap with the back of the board and that'll help get it pointed down to the bottom of the hill. Once you get going down the hill and get gliding into the loop, you're going to put weight on your heels and look to your left so you start to turn to the left. Okay? I'll give a demonstration and then I want you to Alright? Alright, so put weight on the front, give a little tap if I need to, kind of reach downhill if you need to also. Get some speed, then put weight on your heels. You want me to come to you? Yeah. Very good. Now put some weight on the field. All right, that was excellent. Um, I want you to try the same thing, just like the last one. Try to get a little bit more momentum going straight for good ways, and then. When you get to about, say, somewhere around here, start to apply pressure on your heels. And look to the left, okay? Remember, keeping most of your weight on the front foot. Excellent, good, keep going straight. All right, now put a little bit of weight on the heels. Look to your left. Weight on the heels, dig in, keep the weight on the left foot, and stop. Perfect, nicely done. Okay, so now, we're gonna put weight on the front foot, just like last time to get the point board pointed down the hill. But this time, as you gain some speed, you're gonna do the opposite, okay? Put some weight onto the toes. I got it, I think I just need to start doing it. Yep, that. and look to the right. Okay. Go ahead, give it a try. Very good, looking uphill first. Okay. Get a little more speed, it's okay. Yep. Okay. Very good. How your legs feel? Pretty good. Yep. It's a little flat here, so you might need to wiggle your hips to get moving. I think you got it. Yeah, you got it. Good. Good. Weight on the front foot. Excellent. Get a little more speed. A little bit more. All right. Now start to put the weight on your toes. You got it. Keep going. Weight on the toes. That's it. <laughs> that was very good, okay? So let's do that again. Um, this time, try to keep that upper body straight, okay? 
At the end of the turn, you started to lean over. That's why you had to put your hands down. That's all. These people are hungry. I know. They're getting out of the way. I know. They're all up in my space. I know. You should be good now, though. Yep, they're gone. Let's try this again. All right, you're doing great, Gal Gadot. I mean, Talka. Mm-hmm. Get on the front foot. Very good. Put some weight on the toes. Look to your right. More weight on the toes. More, more. Almost. Are you okay? All right. We're a little shaken, but not hurt, and we're good to go. Let's we just say I'm glad I had the helmet. So I thought I wanted to be cute and wear a beanie, and I almost did, but my head hit the ground really hard. So I'm really glad that I had the helmet. Exactly. Yeah. So th this helmet. is one place that I would do function over fashion any day. <laughs> it really hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been really bad if she wasn't wearing a helmet. Especially if the conditions were hard or the snow is a little bit soft right now. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, she says no, it's not but it definitely could have been really bad without a helmet. Can't stress that enough. A lot of stupid injuries could be avoided if you just wear a helmet. Okay. All right, so we're gonna give it a try again. Um, that was also a unfortunately costly lesson on keeping your downhill edge out of the snow. So I was just telling Selica, if you're doing a toe side turn, you can try to imagine there's a little grape underneath your heel edge and whatever you do, you don't wanna squish that grape. Because if you do, that heel edge will catch the snow and that'll happen every time. Same thing if you're on the opposite edge. If you're doing a heel side turn, try to imagine there's a little grape under your toes and you don't want to squish it. All right. I think you're good to go. Okay, put some weight on the toes. Weight on the toes. Look to your right. More weight. There it is. Dig it in. Excellent. This time we're going to try to focus a little bit more on keeping our upper body upright mm -hmm. and less bending over. Good. Now start to put some weight on the toes. Looking to your right. More. Good. Don't squash that grape. Whatever you do, dig those toes in. Dig them in more until you stop. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. You do not. <laughs> That's called style. <laughs> okay. All right, that was a perfectly executed toe side mm -hmm. turn. Coming all the way to, this, to a stop with a nice J shape. Um, I think we're gonna take a little break now. Uh, when we come back, we might try working on linking our turns together. That would be fun. Yeah. But my legs are really tired right now. Yeah, so we're gonna take a little break. <laughs> all right, guys, see you in a little bit. All right, we're back outside. We got a little snack, rested the legs some, and we're ready to attack the hill, right? But cautiously. But cautiously, <laughs> yes. It's getting a little bit more crowded now, but it's still not too bad. The weather's great. The snow is really soft right now. It's probably like 50 degrees. Pretty good conditions. It's all right to be confident, but not overly confident, like you said. Um, I think the important thing is just try to remember what you learned last time and take it from there. So if I'm like heading down, I don't want that side digging into the... Yeah, whichever edge is facing downhill, you do not want that edge in the snow. Yeah. Yep. So do everything you can to keep that edge from being in the snow. So I had a lot of success coming down off the lift the first time because I mm -hmm. did a heel turn, right? That's what I want to do. Um, whichever is most comfortable and whichever way you need to go. 
But the first time we got off the lift, you did a toe side turn. I feel like I want to exactly duplicate what I did, but I don't think I can remember what yeah. I did. I think that's thinking about it too much. <laughs> the only thing you need to worry about getting off the lift is just put your foot on the board right on the stomp pad, that's the middle part, mm -hmm. and then just glide. And you'll stop when you have to stop. Another perfect getting off the lift, yeah. I should have been filming it, but that's two times in a row getting off the lift without falling. Well, coming, coming to a perfect stop. Yeah. Struggle getting your foot on the board, but as soon as you got your foot on the board, you're fine. If uh, we're feeling comfortable and confident with heel side turns and toe side turns individually, then we might try linking them together. Should I go or should I wait or what? Want me to go first? You need to follow? Alright. Let's go now so we get ahead of them. Go ahead. It's okay. You're not. You're not rushed. Don't worry about them. You're good. Take those heels in. I mean the toes. Sorry. I do. Yeah. You know what to do. Very good. Good. Keep going. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. Okay, now start to put some weight on your heels and look to the left. Look more to your left. Good. Dig those heels in. Keep weight on the left foot. Keep weight on the left foot. Move your hips to the left. Why the left? Huh? I want to stop. I know, but if you're doing this while you're trying to stop, you're going to spin around again. Okay. All right. You're okay, don't worry about that door. No Sorry, they kind of cut you off. All right, now it's wide open, okay? And All right, well then why don't we do one more heel side, okay? We can do the toe, but I just don't want the heel to be right here. Okay, watch me, okay? You're gonna need to get a little speed going before you can start to engage that toe edge. Hands out, hands out. Right. Yeah! Woo! Yes! All right, ready? Wait over the snow. I'm looking where I want to go. Now I want to go this way, so I start to look this way. Put weight on the toes. Look down where you want to go. Look where you want to go. That's it. Good, now put some weight on the heels. More on the heels. There you go. Don't squish the grape. Excellent. Now put some weight on the toes. Toes, more on the toes. Look to the right. Okay, good. Now put some weight back on the heels. Look to your left. That was very good. You squished the grape, right? Good job, babe. <laughs> I got tired. Good. But that felt fun there. More fun. Yeah. Look at how far you came, and you see this big line here? See that big curved line? Yeah. I don't even know if it shows up on camera. That's you. All that big curving. Yes, you went from doing this and stopping to doing this. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. One more tip, okay? okay? I notice you keep looking down at your feet a lot. Try not to do that. I know it's tempting. I do it sometimes too. Try to look where you want to go, where you want the board to go. Look there, all right? There you go, got some speed, good. Now start to put weight on the toes. Good, look where you want to go. Keep doing it, perfect. Now you can start to do another toe side turn. Good. Very good. I want you to Point the board that direction and try to do a heel side turn. And as you're finishing the heel side turn, try to slowly point the board back down the hill. Good, good. Now put some weight on the heels. Good, a little more. Very good. Okay, now start to point the board back down the hill. That's it. Good. Very good. Don't make me get all Arnold Schwarzenegger on you. <laughs> it's 
turn this mush into muscle. It is. There I'm is tired. no bathroom. I'm tired. No, you're not. Good. Very good. Hands look great. Excellent. I don't want to do this anymore. Very good. Point it down the hill. Yep. Excellent. You got it. Keep pointing it down. Very good. Now more on the heels. I can't stop here. You can. Stop Wait on the heels. You stopped. Look. You just stopped. I couldn't stop the curve. We're here at Pizza Hut, celebrating my wife getting down the hill. Three times. Mm. Well, riding the lift, yeah, mm. three times, and coming down three times um, with zero injuries and mostly a smile on the face, <laughs> right? Mostly, mm -hmm. and yeah, just having fun being outside with my wife. And I would like to propose a toast okay. to my wonderful husband Dan for being a great teacher and being patient with me and helping me learn some really good things. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what do you think was, if you had to pick one thing that you learned that stuck with you more than anything else today, what would that be? Well, I am no Gal Gadot. <laughs> Um, I think the biggest thing that I learned was keeping your weight on the front foot. Um, keeping weight on the front foot. Because yeah. we kind of slanted like this the whole time. Any time I wasn't like this, the board started turning any which way. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, if you shift weight onto your back foot with your hips, then the back of the board, the tail of the board will start to turn downhill. I also learned that I had to just keep getting up and keep going. Yeah, and you took two slams today, one of them was pretty bad, where you fell back and snapped your head and hit your head on the ground. Um, that was like a make it or break it moment for me because I wanted to stay on the floor. It was. But I knew that if I didn't get up, that I would never come back. Yeah, it was um, a very pivotal moment. I kind of like my clothes, my snowboard for clothes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wear them again, so I figured I should get back up. <laughs> <laughs> because you liked your outfit, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. And snowboarding, same thing as skateboarding or anything, um, but even in life, you fall down, it sucks, but you get back up and you learn from what happened. Um, it didn't even really hurt me, I mean my head hurts a little, hurt a little bit, but I was just more shocked. Yeah. And then I started crying because I got scared. Right. But thank God I had the helmet. Yep. And I will say this to anybody who thinks that they want to be cute and not wear a helmet, mm -hmm. that you should wear your helmet. That's right. Before go, trying to be cute up there. Yep. Because I literally felt my head slam into the ground. Yeah. And the helmet took the brunt of the. Mm -hmm. What made you fall that time? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. What happened? The hillside. The hillside edge. edge? Mm -hmm. Dug into the snow. So mm -hmm. I was going up. I'm going because like you this. were because you were doing a toe side turn, right? Mm -hmm. So you're on your toe side edge, and instead of keeping just that edge in the snow. Your heels caught the edge. Right. Yeah, I thought that if you would fall, you might just fall on your butt. Mm -hmm. I felt my whole body down. Yeah, it's like a chain reaction. You fall on your butt, but you've got so much momentum that throws your head back too. The other thing I learned is there's a lot of people I don't know what the crap I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. That was more we call them Jerry's. Yep. Yeah. From Parks and Rec. <laughs> you should have told me that. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been yelling at the whole way down. Woo, Jerry! Yeah. So, I know how much I really don't have control to move. And I was just afraid that one of them were going to slam into me. Or they're in my way. And it's very frustrating. And there's a lot of people that don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And they don't have anyone that knows what they're doing with them. That's right. There's a lot of people who don't want to take a lesson. Who either want to try to learn from a friend. Which is okay if a friend actually knows what they're doing, but most of the time they don't. Or they just don't get help from anybody. And they just throw on a board, throw on skis, and then just 
let it fly down the hill. It's a bad recipe. No. I'm going to do it again. I want to do it again. I feel like I can be better. I feel like it's going to be good for me like I was saying. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm not a physical person and I'm really afraid of a lot of things and I like live my life to make sure that I don't hurt myself whether emotionally, physically, spiritually, whatever. And I, it's inevitable that hurt will come in one way or another. Yeah. Or I live my life to make sure I don't fall down and it gets exhausting. And so mm -hmm. I guess just snowboarding is helping me overcome that fear to like physically mm -hmm. fall down and then have to just get back up. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good food for thought mm -hmm. as we eat some food for thought. Mm -hmm. And if there are any people that are on the slope that I may have yelled at, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you're watching, take a lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, I think the theme for today is don't be afraid of falling. And if you do fall, get right back up. <laughs> what? I joked. <laughs> so don't be afraid of falling and if you do fall get right back up and, and try it again and learn from your mistakes and don't try to be somebody you're not yeah because even though i like gal Gadot, i'm not gal Gadot, so i have to be okay that i'm going to take a spill or might look uncoordinated at times that's <laughs> right i guess that's it for today guys thanks for watching if you like this hit the like button also make sure you subscribe so you can see more of these videos they're coming out every week Leave a comment down below if you want to see my wife back out on the snow. Or leave a comment for anything. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah! Yes! <laughs>